the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, declares the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you, and I will surely multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in your offspring shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. I will multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven, and will give to your offspring all these lands, and in your offspring all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. You yourselves have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession among all peoples, for all the earth is mine, and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the people of Israel. Behold, I send an angel before you to guard you on the way. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, count it a privilege to be ruled by me. I say, count it a privilege to be ruled by my strength, my power, my mercy, my glory. Count it a privilege to be able to continue in repentance unto me. For I say, if you really consider the privileges that I the living God do give thee, I say you will be thankful each day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who has given you the privilege to be ruled by me. Now I say, if you consider the hideous things that men are ruled by in this wicked generation, it is ugly to behold. That is, they are ruled by demons, they are ruled by the lust of the flesh, they are ruled by wicked and carnal men. And I say, they are ruled by cruelty, they are ruled by oppression, and they are ruled by that which is nothing but the sentence of death and damnation of soul. And I say, when you consider these things, I say, thank me and praise me that you can be ruled by me. Now I say, it is me, the living God, who has called all men to the place whereby they are ruled by me. But I say that not all men will hear and obey that call. That is, the call to repentance, revolution, whereby men can be found in the humility way of life that I provide. But I say, because men are full of the love of self and the desire to please the same, I say they refuse to pay heed to me. That is, they refuse to pay heed to the call to repent and walk in my way. But I say it is me, the living God, who is nonetheless giving forth the call to all to repent, to be found abiding in me. That is, in order to be brought forth, ever uplifted, directed, and corrected by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is ever available unto the ones who will believe upon me, trust in me, and cleave to me. And it is me, the living God, who is ever available to guide forth the people who will trust our ways in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, absolutely do not find pleasure in the ones who walk afar off from me, who live in estrangement from my arrangement and go their own way. But I say that I find my joy, my pleasure in a people who will be adhering unto me, thankful to be ruled by me. Now I say, when you are always fretting against me and wanting your own way and desiring to do as you please, I say you are, have not, absolutely have not found the joy of being ruled by me. For I say you will always be high-minded against me, rejecting my humility way. But I say when you learn to truly bow down to accept my way, then I say that you can be guided forth in the same. And yes, you can be given the truth and the light upon the path, for it is me, the living God, who is ever present to give to you always. And it is me, the living God, who will indeed direct, correct, and guide you forth as you pay heed unto me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, truth, mercy, and light, and peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who is ever available to guide forth the people who will believe, receive, and be ever guided in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do see the condition that men are in, and I say it is a horrid sight to behold. 
For I say they are full of filthiness, uncleanness, vileness, and corruption on every hand. And I say they are doing the deeds of damnation day by day and loving it so. But I say it is me, the living God, who is giving forth the call to repentance, revolution to any and all who will hear and obey. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that my true messengers would stay faithful and true unto me, thankful to be ruled by me. Now I say, if you consider the lives of the prophets, did they seek to be popular? Did they seek to gain recognition and acknowledgement by men? Not at all. But I say, they simply sought to obey my call to the generation that they were in and actively daily proclaim the same. That is, they did not look for their own works, their own ministries, but I say, they contented themselves to be ruled by me. And I say, so it is that I, the living God, do desire that men and women would content themselves to be ruled by me. That is, to be ruled by what it is that I desire and require, to be ruled what it, by what it is that I ordain. For I say, if any man or woman will truly subject themselves unto me, then I say that they can come forth in the truth, the light, the mercy that I provide. And they can be uplifted, ever directed, corrected, and instructed by me. For I say it is indeed a wondrous thing to be ruled by me, to be directed, corrected, and brought forth in my way. And I say it is a wondrous thing to be knowing that it is me, the living God, who is indeed well able to bring me forth. Therefore I say this day be glad that I, the living God, do give to you the newness of life that can only be found through me. And I say, be thankful that I, the living God, will ever direct, correct, and bring you forth as you will but cleave to me. For I say, it is a privilege, a privilege, a privilege to be ruled by me. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, never called men to walk afar off from me to go in the way of stubborn, proud fools. That is, whereby they are ruled by demons, ruled by their own carnality, and by the world. But I say that I've called my people to continually humble themselves, to seek my face, my counsel, and be thankful each day. That is, that they can indeed be ruled by me. Now I say this day, if you look upon the wickedness, the evil, the darkness that is bound all about, I say you can grow depressed by the same. But I say if you look to me as the one true God who is caring for thee, then I say that you can be ruled by me. That is, you can be brought forth in the truth, the light, the blessedness, the strength of who I am ever made glad for my way. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way of all righteousness and truth, mercy and hope and peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who will give to the ones who will indeed serve me the way that is eternal life. Now I say this day counted a privilege to be ruled by me, to be directed, corrected, and instructed by me. For I say if you consider that you could be a disciple of the devil headed to hell with every move. But I say instead I've given you the opportunity to be my disciples and to come forth in my way. That is to be trained into following me in all that you do. Now I say this day be thankful for the call to repent that I, the living God, am giving forth in these days. For I say there are multitudes who are perishing day by day in the endless funnel to hell. But I say it is me, the living God, who is giving the call to any and all that will hear and obey and come in to me. That is, through repentance, revolution, turning from all other masters and allowing me to rule. Now I say when I, the living God, do rule a man or a woman, I say that I will direct, correct, and guide them forth in my humility way. And I say that I will give unto them all that they have need of to be guided by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who will bring forth the ones who believe and receive of me. Now I say, therefore, this day be glad that I, a living God, do give to you the way that is life, the way that is truth, and the way that is mercy provided. For I say, if you will indeed be walking in that way, then you are ever strengthened in me. And yes, you are given the blessedness day by day, for it is me, the living God, who is able to give to you the same. And it is me, the living God, who will be bringing forth the ones who cleave to me. Now I say, therefore, this day count it a privilege to keep on trusting, to keep on believing, to keep on following after. 
that is, that you can be walking in the unity of the spirit, the truth, and the light of who I am. That you can indeed be uplifted, directed, corrected, and given the hope day by day. For I say, when you walk uprightly in what it is that I intend, then I say, you are brought forth by me. And yes, you are given the way that I, the living God, do provide the way of truth and light, the way of mercy and peace day by day. Now I say this day when you look upon what it is that I the living God do intend, I say it is the way of life and truth, hope and peace and strength day by day. And I say it is the way that I purpose for all who will believe upon me. Therefore I say continue as a steadfast people who are made glad to walk in me. And I say continue as a steadfast people who are made glad to know that it is me that they serve. For I say, when you will indeed be thankful to be ruled by me, then I say you will see that each thing that I the living God to bring will draw you closer to me. And I say you will likewise understand that the pressures that are put upon me are my hand in making you and what I want you to be. And I say that you will not fear with the fears that beset the heathen and rule their lives, but I say that you will be able to walk soberly in me. For I say, if it is me that you look to as Master and Lord, and obey my commands, I say that you are kept. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am at this time calling for all men to be ruled by me. And I say that the ones who hear me and obey, I say that they will come out of the way of death and into the glorious life. And I say that they will be able to give thanks and praise each day for the wonderful blessed way that I give them because they are found in me. That is, their eyes have been opened, their ears have been opened, and I say their hearts have been opened through repentance revolution in their lives. I say this day that repentance is literally the heartbeat of relationship with me. And I say if men will keep growing and going in me, I say they will keep on repenting unto me. But I say where men will wall up in hatred and bitterness and accusation against, against repentance, what shall they find? I say they shall find they are bound in the darkness, the evil, the iniquity of their own way. And I say they will find they lose out because they do not allow the heartbeat to continue in their lives. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do find my joy in a people who are thankful to be ruled by me, that is, they realize I know what I do. And I say they are ever trusting me despite the circumstance, the situation, the ordeal that is bound in this life. And I say they are ever trusting me as the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end. And I say they are ever thankful for the privilege to know, to believe, to trust always. Now I say their world this day be glad that it is me, the living God, who does give to my own the way of life, the way of truth, and the way of mercy. And I say if you walk in that straight and narrow way each day, then you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength of who I am. For it is me, the living God, ever present to give to you the same. And it is me, the living God, who will direct you, correct you, and bring you forth. Now I say, count it a privilege to believe me, to receive of me, and be brought forth in my way. For I say that I, the living God, am the one who will direct you. I am the one who will correct you. And I say that it is by my hand that you are guided always. Therefore I say, be thankful to receive the truth, the light, the mercy, and the peace of who I am. And I say, be thankful to be uplifted in that which I, the living God, do intend and provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, blessedness, and truth, and mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who gives to my own all that they ever have need of to be ever kept in me. Therefore, I say, count it a privilege to believe, to receive, to be guided each day by me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is blessedness and strength. And it is me, the living God, who is the hope intended for those who trust in me. And I say, it is me, the living God, who will show thee that, yes, indeed, I am well able as you continue looking to me. That is, as you will be looking unto me, believing and trusting in me, for I am thy God. And I say, if you count it a privilege to be ruled by me, then I say, you will not have to fret, nor fuss, nor fume against me. 
But I say that you will accept my rule, you will accept my lordship, and be brought forth in the same. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do offer the way of life, and men accept the same through repentance, revolution, I say they come into my rulership, and if they remain, then they are guided in my humility way. That is the way of life.